Hi guys, it's Laura and today I'm going to do the fictional book, the fictional reality book tag. Yeah. So first my current read is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. I finished Cinder uh, last night, which is Sunday night, um, at 9pm and I thought why not start it? So I did. So I'm not very far in. I thought my book was going to fall out there. But I realised that it's got like these little like things in it. Like it's got like... It's not just writing, there's like pictures and stuff kind of thing, if you get what I mean. But yeah, so far it's good. I haven't read much, but it's good so far and something's happened that I want to know. But yeah, anyway, let's go on with the test. Question one. If you had two children, what fictional character would you name them after and why? Well, I've got four girls' names, which I want to name my children after fictional characters. So, instead of doing two, I'm going to do four. Two girls and two boys, because that's how many kids I actually want anyway. At this stage of my life, anyway, probably strange. But, um, okay, first, the girls, um, I've got Izzy or Isabel from the Mortal Instruments series, because Isabel is a boss character. She is so fab, and I love the name. So, to be fair, I'm just going to clarify, I love all these names. So, but uh, the next girl is Macy from Galaxy Girls, because, again, I love Macy, and she is, like, her character development, in my opinion, is boss. I said that word already. Oh my god. Anyway, but yeah, it's fab. I love her. And then the boys, I've got Zach from Galaxy Girls as well, because Zach is heaven and I love him to pieces. And Matt from Open Road Summer, because again, he's just fabulous and I love him. And I really do like the name Matt, so yeah. Question two is, if you had a pet, what fictional character would you name it after? I chose Jace. Because from the Mortal Instruments series, I just think it'd be a really cute name for a dog. Obviously a male dog, but I think it would just be really cute. I don't know why. It's just a good name for a dog. Even though it's a person. But still, not the point. Question three. If you could live in any fictional world, where would it be? I chose the Shadowhunter world. Because I love the Shadowhunter world. <laughs> I just think it would be so cool to be... A shadow hunter and to have like with all the gang you know, like Simon and Jason, Clary and Izzy and Alec and everyone like that and I just think it'd be boss and I just I've said that word twice now anyway I think it would be amazing to be a shadow hunter and I want to be a shadow hunter so yeah that's why that's where I would live. Question four what fictional food would be your speciality to make? Um this was hard um I chose the creme brulee that the chef makes, Chef Louis, I think his name is, I can't remember now, oh god, um, I'm just going to call him Chef Louis, Chef Louis makes in Gargoyles because, I don't know, I've never even tried creme brulee, but it was the first one that came to my head other than Peter's cheese buns, I'd like to make them too, so those are my two food specialities, even though I can't cook anyway. Question five, if you were to be like any character, who would you be and why? I would be like Izzy, again, from the Mortal Instruments series, because when I was reading it, I generally saw some of me in Izzy. I don't know whether it was just me wanting to be Izzy or what, but I did see some of me in Izzy, so I'm choosing Izzy. That or Katniss, because I also see Baby and Katniss, just the way the whole like, uh, I'm not good at being making friends and all that jazz, and yeah, so either Izzy or Katniss, I love them both, so either one, I'm fine with. Question six, if you, which fictional character would you not get along with in real life? I chose Maven from Red Queen, and if you've read Red Queen, you might know why. Because he does something, and it isn't good. I was so upset, it broke my heart in two, because I loved Maven, and then he did that. And then it just, no. So. I would not get along with Maven anymore because he broke my heart, so yeah, Maven is no longer my friend. Question 7. Which fictional character would be your best friend? Uh, I chose a boy and a girl. For a boy, I chose Simon from the Hot Instrument series because he is the best. Like, seriously, Simon is like the best. I'm just going to put it out there. He's so cute and nerdy and I just love him and he is the best ever friend to have. He's like, I don't know, he's just amazing. Like, you can't not be friends with Simon, like, seriously. But, um, yeah. And for a girl, I chose Regan from um, Open Road Summer because she's fab as well. 
and I love her and I don't really have reasons why I love her. She's just really like kinda now, she's kinda like does her own thing and kind of protective like the one thing she cares about like the most is her best friend. And I don't know, she'd be a fab friend. She really would. So yeah. Simon and Regan. Question eight, which fictional character would be your soulmate? I have three. One, Zach from Galaga Girls, because as I've already said, he is heaven. He is just the best and I absolutely adore him. Um, and then there's Jace because again he's so sassy and sarcastic and just funny as hell and then loves Clary so he'll love me too. So yeah. And then there's Peter because again he loves Katniss and he's proper sassy with all his little like, little bits which they took out of the movie but that's not the point. Anyway, like I just love Peter. He's like the best and Jace is the best and Zach's the best. So yeah, they're my three fictional soulmates. So yeah. Question nine. Which fictional character would you like as a sibling? I would like Cammy from Gark Girls because Cammy is smart so she can help me with my homework. She's also kind of like me in the sense that she feels invisible. Like literally the first line is I guess most teenage girls feel invisible sometimes. So that's me. So we get along like that and yeah, I want Cammy as my sister because she's fab. I've said that word so many times in this video, but I don't care. Yeah, they're all fat. And finally, who would be in your fictional squad? I've got six. I've got, um, put my phone down. I've got Katniss from The Hungry Games, Jace and Izzy from the Little Instrument series, Mare from Red Queen, um, yeah, Zach, Zach from <laughs> Galaga Girls, and Selena from the Throne of Glass series. I chose Katniss because she's like badass and so is Selena and so is Izzy and Jace. I had Zach because I felt sorry for Jace being the only boy. So I was like, okay, I'm, I was gonna have five, but I was like, no, I need another boy. So I chose Zach and Zach and Jace, they probably clash, but you know, why not? So, and Mare is just amazing and I love her sassiness. Well, not sassiness, that's the wrong word, but yeah, she's fab anyway. So that's my squad. So yeah. And that is the end of the book fiction reality fictional book tag. <laughs> I can't say it. Um the end of the fictional reality book tag. I hope you guys liked it. Comment and like and subscribe if you did, or even if you didn't, just comment and like and subscribe anyway, because it would be nice. And I will see you soon with another video. So Bye!